Terra Luna Classic has spent the last 24 hours trading in a relatively tight range between 10,600 points per coin and just a little over 11,000 points per coin. Now, we know that Terra Luna Classic can absolutely take off at any time. And one of the largest catalysts that we may have to do so right now is the USTC Repeg proposal. Now we've been talking a lot about this Repeg proposal over the last couple of days and it is set to end in the next couple of hours, or depending on when you guys are watching this video, it has already ended. Now currently it is passing. We're going to be talking about some of the numbers here because this is a very interesting proposal, one that only has 49% to 50% yes votes, but it only has 7% no votes. The rest are abstaining. So we're going to talk about these numbers, what it means, and of course, what it means for USTC and Terra Luna Classic, because this could be the next greatest thing. And although we're not seeing the same type of hype that we saw back in September of 2022, when people drove the price of Terra Luna Classic up to 60,000 points per coin, from 4,000 points per coin, it could absolutely lead to something bigger. So let's discuss it. Welcome to Terra Classic Update, your source for the latest news and insights on the Luna cryptocurrency. Stay up to date with our in-depth analysis, expert insights, and up-to-the-minute news. Subscribe now to stay ahead of the curve in the world of Luna. The price of Terra Luna Classic over the last 24 hours, it's had a nice little run from about 10,600 points per coin, up to 11,300 points per coin, dropping back down to 11,100 right now. And this is not very volatile for a coin like Lunk. It's up 3% on the day so far, which is very nice in light of everything that the market is going through. But we've got something brewing behind the scenes right now that could absolutely take off. Now, this proposal, it is a signaling proposal and it does only have a couple of hours left at the time we're recording here. So by the time you guys watch this, it may or may not have already, I guess, ended the latest numbers. 49.17% yes votes. 44.12% abstaining, 6.69% are no votes and only 0.02% are no with veto. Now, let's talk about these numbers just briefly and why they may be the way that they are. Clearly being just a signaling proposal, there's no harm in really voting yes on this. It simply signals to the community, it signals to different cryptocurrency exchanges, it signals to the world that this is something we are interested in. It signals that we are interested in taking the next steps in what it would be to repeg USTC to any amount, but especially that $1 mark. Now, the Terra Luna Classic community has come in and they have come in very well with over 74, almost 75% of all of the stake Terra Luna Classic voting at this point. So it is gathering a lot of attention and nearly the 50% threshold being passed right there. But why abstain? You know I guess if you're abstaining in this vote, it's better than voting no, clearly, but you're just indicating that it's a signaling proposal. You're gonna take a step back on this one and allow it to go through. Either way you're okay with it and either way you know that no major changes are going to be made to the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. Now what happens next is that once this passes, we're going to need to see some additional work from Redline Drifter. The hardest part of this proposal is not going to be the swaps. It's not going to be coding in some sort of dynamic fee that USTC adds a fee if it's trading below peg and the buyers get charged if it's trading above peg and so on. The hardest part is going to be convincing every centralized exchange to get on board with this dynamic fee. Now why do I say that? 1. Because there are multiple parties involved and clearly when one person disagrees, it's going to ruin it for everybody. You can't have USTC trading on some tiny little exchange when somebody like Binance may support the proposal and add the dynamic fee there. That would lead to massive arbitrage opportunities. People would be buying on one exchange, selling on the other, and exploiting it that way so that it would not work unless everybody involved is willing to be on board. So therefore, that is going to be the hardest part, is campaigning and getting these centralized exchanges to agree with this Repeg proposal here. If it is accomplished, okay, if we are able to get the centralized exchanges on board, then the real work begins. Then we have to make sure that the swaps are working correctly. Then we have to make sure that we maintain enough volume in order to allow the fees to accumulate, work that pool up so that we can finally stair-step USTC higher. 
But in the end, if this proposal is successful, if everything falls in line together and USTC is a stable coin in the Terra Luna Classic ecosystem, once again, whether it's stable at $1.10 penny, who knows? If there is a stable coin, it is going to allow for mass transactions because we've discussed it before, we'll discuss it again. Stability is what allows for transactions to take place in commerce. You don't want to go sell something if you know your dollar today could be worth $100 tomorrow. You don't want to go buy something if you know your dollar today could be worth $100 tomorrow. The volatility in something like Terra Luna Classic and the volatility in something like USTC kind of causes people to step back and not transact in those, I guess, coins or in those cryptocurrencies. But a stable coin could be so much bigger than the burn tax was and a stable coin could be so much bigger than any other proposal that we have seen so far. So I am very excited to see the next steps for this Repeg proposal taking place because I do believe that that is when the real work begins. Everybody can sit back and dream. Everybody can vote yes on a signaling proposal. But until we actually see some work being done, that may be why we're not seeing a rally in USTC or in Terra Luna Classic for that matter. That's all for today's update on Luna Cryptocurrency. We hope you found our analysis and insights valuable. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates on Luna and other exciting blockchain projects. And as always, thanks for tuning in.